Hey there champions, welcome back to another Read Aloud. Our very special guest reader tonight is the Kern County Fire Chief, David Witt. Chief, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and the story you're going to read for us today? Sure. As you said, my name is David Witt, and I've been in the fire service for over 25 years. Various fire departments have been with Kern County Fire Department for about 20 years and uh, thoroughly enjoy the job. And uh, being a firefighter is an awesome duty and responsibility. And I encourage you to, to pursue that in your uh, going forward. And it's just a, such a great feeling to help people and, and to be a part of this community the Kern County community and the city of Bakersfield. Today I'm going to be reading Lady Pancake, Sir French Toast. Okay. We'll get started here shortly. Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese, up in the corner and back by a roast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. Leftover friends were as close as could be until they heard the news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely gone. A single drop's left, just a drop, she went on. The last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed. But French Toast replied, not if I get there first. Like that, he was off, and the race had begun, with Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of a potato mash mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead, toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. She screeched to a stop at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a plop. He scraped himself off and yelled up, you're a meanie, as Pancake repelled down a rope of linguine. She bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats then hurled a lime and skipped over two beats. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak. So Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke dip, Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell way below with a thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup, causing spills. But chili lagoons slathered Pancake in a much, much muck, and then at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Don't go that way, yelled Chickapee to warn her, but Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind dressings, one Russian, one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean. Toast reemerged re in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such a great height, some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide, but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an older platy platter party. So quickly, he climbed up a celery ladder. Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It's mine, she made, demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbled, too tired to push. They were limping and stumbling. There stood a bottle of syrup at last, but wait, it was empty. They stood quite aghast. Licking his lips with a sneer that was awful, out of the shadows crept Baron Von Waffel. I got here first while you boasted and bickered. 
My, was that syrup delicious, he snickered. With one evil laugh, Waffles slipped out of sight and the syrup was gone. No more reason to fight. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, perhaps we should not fight next time. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split up the butter right here. End of the story. And have a good night. <laughs>